What is up guys? So I'm back here with another tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix the common Nintendo 64 controller detection problem that we get with emulators these days. Now this is at least for the USB controllers because I don't own like the original controller anymore. So I don't think you guys using original controllers with adapters will have any problems. But if you have one of these and you're having detection issues, don't worry because you've come to the right place. So all you're going to need is this and the little disc that came with the controller. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and begin. Okay guys, so for those who have not installed this disc and just directly connected the controller to your PC as soon as you got it on the mail or whatever, are the ones that mostly get the problem. So I'm going to go ahead and do exactly like you guys, and I'm going to connect, um, if I could get it, okay, there we go, to my PC, like so, and we get the uh, installing device driver software, as always. Okay guys, so for those of you, like I said, who connected your controller directly to your computer once you bought the item or you know when you received it in the mail whatever um, you're obviously going to get the little installing thing that I just showed you on camera and once that is done you're going to notice that if you go to devices and printers instead of the generic USB joystick being up here as part of, part of your devices it's going to be down here as part of unspecified and that is the issue that we're getting now some of you may not get this some of you might luckily actually get the joystick icon up here um, but the, for those who didn't I'm going to be showing you how to fix this and be able to play your games or your new controller okay so if you have this down here and that's what you're struggling with the first thing you're gonna do is go to right click properties hardware properties change settings and then go to driver and uninstall click OK there we go it's not there anymore or here so now what you want to do is you want to take your little disc that you got and you want to put it in your disc tray in your laptop or your uh, PC okay so once you put your disc uh, inside of your PC obviously we have to wait for it to start up there we go you want to click open folder to view files and once you open it you're gonna have this little program in there you want to go ahead and uh, run it as administrator if this would pop up. There we go. Obviously do all that good installing stuff. So if you get this message, just simply click yes. And this might take a little while, depends on the speed of your computer. And this is basically installing the new drivers. Because, like I said, for those of you who connected your controller directly to your PC once you bought it, um, the drivers on the controller might not get installed properly, and that is where the issue comes. Uh, that's what the uh, little disc is for, just in case. And I really like how the company did that. So as you can see, it's almost done. And uh, just click finish when it's done, and that is about it. Now. All you have to do is reconnect your controller. It might be connected still, never disconnected it. You basically just want to go ahead and disconnect it and just connect it back in. Okay guys, so there we go. I connected the uh, controller once again. Like I said, don't disconnect it, never do that. You're gonna get the installing device driver software once again. And there we go! Generic USB joystick and that is about it guys! So, I want to thank you for watching. Well, hold on, before I leave let me just show you. You want to go to Project 64, that's the emulator I use. Um, want to go to File, or Options, sorry. Configure Controller Plugin, and there we go, it should be right there. And you know, just configure all your good stuff, and uh, yeah! So that is about it guys, I want to thank you for watching, I hope this video helped you out. Um, 
This is what you're supposed to get. If you get it from the very beginning, then you have nothing to worry about. Um, but yeah, want to thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next tutorial, if I even do one. Don't worry, I will.